It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. With lockdown going on and on, my hair is just getting madder and madder. Today we're going to be bringing you a look at the Pepperami Fire Stick. It's described as an extra hot smoked pork salami sausage. So without further ado, I think for me this is one of my favourite late night pub snacks. After a few pints, a lot of pubs in the UK, they used to, not so much anymore, but they used to stock these. And I used to really like them, maybe I have two or three after the beer. I've not seen the fire stick version, the extra hot version. Oh, but look at the bottom there, you can see. Look at all that chilli. Here we go. So a little, how would I describe it? It's, it's probably a salami, really, from Italy or, or Spain, that type of Mediterranean food. Germany, maybe. But it's the whole... Mm, oh, my God. <clears throat> oh, ho, ho, ho! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, blimey, that's hot, that is amazing, I think that's the best few beers in one of these, absolutely terrific, oh that's hot, I went into it thinking, you know some of these like, like mainstream brands, they, they say fire stick and they say extra hot, whatever, and it's just a little tickle of, of pepper, but that really does catch the back of your throat. Yeah, for me, this type of snack, this little salami snack and maybe a vice beer or a pilsner, perfect, absolutely perfect. It goes so well together, meat and beer, dry aged meat and beer. Cool. Oh. I mean, it's no, like, death nut challenge, nothing like that. Still, really quite hot. The meat's tasty, though. It's, it's a bit different than a Mediterranean sausage, shall we call it, because it, it just seems to be, it seems to be ground down a bit more, rather than like a big fat content you normally get. You can see the little bits of fat there. There you go. But it's definitely more of a ground down meat, this, and more of a, what's the, what's the mouth feel? It's more like a British sausage. It's like, It's like they realise that, I mean, I eat lots of different salamis. I get sent a lot of different salamis and German meats and lots of meats from the Netherlands, especially 2020. And I, I actually really like it, but it goes really well with a pint. I know, for whatever reason, it's not a massive, massive sell in the UK this type of thing. So I think what Pepperami have done here cleverly is brought it round to a more British I'm gonna say I was I'm gonna say taste I'm not gonna say taste because this is like fiery hot but more of a a sausage feel in the mouth. Does that sound too ridiculous? More what we're accustomed to. Mmm, oh my god. That is terrific. I'd buy a load of these. Buy a load of these and just stick them on the bar up there. Let people help themselves. Oh!
I'm doing a live feed tonight at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub and I'm gonna I reckon I'm gonna have some of them on the on the live feed at seven o'clock tonight um, on this very channel UK time we'll be live drinking a few beers I've got, I've got a few pilsners it's a Tuesday night got a few pilsners in the fridge for it so seven o'clock tonight check it out um, <clears throat> But just to wrap this review up with my crazy lockdown here, um, that is really spicy. That I wasn't expecting it. Have I got a bit of? Yeah, look, look, the top lip sweating. That is really quite spicy. I really wasn't expecting that. I used to like the old Pepper Army adverts where they used to, you know, you finish me off type of thing. I used to, it was a great little thing. Um, they're actually a German company. Right, I'm going to rate it. I think that's brilliant. I think that's a brilliant snack, and that's one of, I think that's my favourite meaty beer snack going forward. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!